give you some characteristics of people of excellence. Characteristics of people of excellence. Number one, <clears throat> people of excellence set goals. Noah had a plan for the ark. Moses had a plan for the tabernacle. Solomon had a plan for the temple. God has been working on the plan of redemption. People of excellence, they set goals. Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there's no vision, they've perished. Any area of your life that you don't have a vision for could be deteriorating. If you don't have a vision for your financial freedom, your finances could be deteriorating. If you don't have a vision for your health, diet, exercise, that's convicting me, your health could be deteriorating. If you don't have a vision for your marriage or your child raising, your relationships could be deteriorating. Where there's no vision, the people perish. Any area that you don't have a vision or a plan or a goal for or that you're doing frequent checkups with or audits in could be degenerating. That's why at work they give you mid-year review, year in review. People of excellence, they set goals. Set, set, what, what's your goal? How much money do you want to save? How many books do you want to read? I have two little kids right now, um, so it's a little bit different for me. My oldest daughter's name is Adonai. Uh, her name means, my God is Lord. My youngest daughter's name is Eliana. Her name means, God has answered. So when I call my children, Adonai and Eliana, it's a reminder to me that my God is Lord and he has answered. But I gotta have a vision for them, how I raise them. I gotta have goals. What I can already see now, I, I feel convicted when I, when, I, when I don't have things and mechanisms in place to help her develop. When I give in to the boob tube or let her play a game when I could be reading to her or doing something, I need a vision for her, for them. People of excellence set goals. Mm -hmm.